Hello, I'm Dr. Greg Forrest of the Pain Brain Healing Center, chiropractic neurologist, here to talk about small fiber neuropathy. This is a growing, growing phenomenon today, unheard of in the past. It is a disorder of the small cutaneous or nerves in the skin that tend to start in the feet and work their way up or in the hands and work their way up. But it can give all kinds of very uh, bizarre symptoms numbness, tingling, burning, uh, aching, cold. It, it can be very, very strange symptoms. And it can spread to anywhere in the body. Sometimes it can start in the face. So there is a lot of controversy over it, <clears throat> how it begins and what are the causes. But the underlying issue is, is that the nerves are sick. They're sick and dying they're no longer able to carry normal uh, impulses. This primary, the primary cause of small fiber neuropathy is blood sugar abnormalities. And you don't have to be diabetic, full-blown diabetic. Uh, it, it happens even with glucose spikes in um, pre-diabetes. Pre-diabetes can be as dangerous or more dangerous than di diabetes. Actually, there are more incidences of neuropathy developing in pre-diabetics because they're not being controlled and they're getting these huge glucose spikes after meals. Anyways, another uh, prominent cause of small fiber neuropathy is nutritional deficiencies. Uh, there can be multiple different factors and it can be a combination of blood sugar abnormalities, uh, nutritional deficiencies. Um, so. Uh, there's been studies, <clears throat> anything from vitamin D, a folate is a big one, having to get the right methylated folate. Uh, another issue can be even copper. Uh, many different nutrients are needed, but B12, of course, is a huge one. But the point is you need to do underlying laboratory studies to see if there's actual deficiencies, uh, looking at homocysteine, methylonic acid, to look at folate and B12. Much more accurate than looking just at a... Uh, serum B12 or serum folate, these biomarkers will tell us what's in the cells, what's in the nerves. So then <clears throat> the third issue is autoimmunity, and this may be a, a big factor. I mean, right now it's estimated maybe 80% of all small fiber neuropathy is caused by blood sugar issues, and I think that's exacerbated by nutritional deficiencies in um, poor diets. But this autoimmunity plays a huge role too. That's where you're attacking the nerves. <clears throat> Your actual immune system has set up an attack on the nervous tissue. Now, why is there autoimmunity? Autoimmunity is growing by leaps and bounds. <clears throat> One of the underlying issues, of course, is having the genetics that tend to predispose you to it. But number two, on top of that, a leaky gut. Recent research shows that basically there must be <clears throat> a trifecta of genetics, leaky gut, and then some sort of uh, other factor that comes together, environmental factor that stimulates this autoimmune reaction. <clears throat> there are blood tests that you can do to look at if there is antibodies being made towards your nerves, and that's very important. Once you find the cause, then you can attack it, and you can attack it with a more holistic approach. There really are no drugs that cure small fiber neuropathy, only drugs that suppress the symptoms. So it's vital to get the underlying cause and arrest it and reverse it as soon as possible because this disorder is very disabling. So just want to bring your attention to small fiber neuropathy. There'll be a series of other videos where we'll discuss other factors to it. Um, hope you'll uh, follow these and uh, thank you very much. If you want any information about our clinic, you can get Pain and Brain Healing Center. It's 763-862-7100. Thank you very much.